we welcome you back to Newsmax now, and we're going to check back in with our guests, Gregory and Marina Slayton, author of authors, co-authors of the new book, "Be the Best Mom You Could Be." And uh, guys, we were talking about this trend in society where it seems more and more uh, that family values aren't quite the same as they used to be. Do you see that trend continuing indefinitely, or do you think maybe that might move in the other direction with a new generation? You know, it's hard to say, John, but what I can tell you for sure is that in our specific families where, for which we're responsible, it is super important to make time for your family and to recognize mm -hmm. that fatherhood or motherhood is the most important job any of us are going to have. Yes, and that's, what, that is something you, all, you often reminded me of, Gregory, when we talk about uh, fatherhood. Uh, and, you know, again, we know the, the new book is about being the, the best mom you can be, but also, you know, it's important to have, uh, to be a good dad as well. And um, one of the areas of, of emphasis that you guys have both tried to work in is with our military families. Talk to us a little bit about your outreach re efforts there and how military families uh, can get copies of your books. Well, yes, thank you very much. You know, we are a military family. In fact, our daughter is serving as a first lieutenant in Germany right now in the U.S. Army. And we recognize how difficult it is to have a strong family no matter what, and then especially if you're in Kandahar and your kids are in Kansas City. So in any event, for this month and next month, all of May and all of June, mm -hmm. every single cop for every single copy of Be the Best Mom You Can Be that is sold, and of my book, the Be a Better Dad Today, for every single copy of either of those books that's sold in the United States, our foundation is going to give a book for free to a U.S. military mom or a U.S. military dad. And that's just a small thing that we want to do to try and be a blessing to our U.S. military families on whom we depend and whom we uh, want to support as much as we possibly can. Well, we, we want to thank you very much uh, for your time and thank you for everything you guys do for that offer. And thank your daughter as well for her service to our country. Gregory and Marina Slayton, the book is called Be the Best Mom You Can Be. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thank, thank you, John. You. All Happy the best. Happy Mother's Day. Hello, Happy Eric. Mother's Day to everybody. If I was single and, and dating in college and my boyfriend tried something that I said no to and started sexually assaulting me, I would use my firearm to defend myself. We're talking about why shouldn't a woman be able to carry a gun to protect herself. But if you're going to give her a gun, you also have to give rapists a gun. And I think that we can all realize that that's a really bad idea. There you go. Part of the debate happening right now on college campuses across right. the country. Those two clips coming from CBS. They're talking about lawmakers in 13 states who are considering campus carry bills. That would allow students on college campuses mm -hmm. to carry firearms. Now, the effort to get that bill passed in the state of Florida has failed, but the National Rifle Association says it will be back next year. And joining us now for our roundtable segment, we have Gabby, and I know I'm going to do this right. Let's try it. Morangiello. Did I get it? Gabby, are you there? Nailed it. <laughs> did I get it? Yes. Ah, I knew I would. I've been practicing forever. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Gabby is with the, uh, she's a campus correspondent from campusreform.org. Thank you so much for joining us for this Friday roundtable. So Gabby, this Thanks question is, is really for you. How would you feel about being in class with someone who was carrying a concealed weapon? Well, I'm still in college and I'm a woman and I think that campus carry legislation is a tremendous step towards making women safer on college campuses. Uh, for a woman to be able to choose to take the proper trainings and learn how to properly handle a gun and then be able to carry that on a college campus, the fact is that she's way more likely to be able to defend herself against a crime such as sexual assault under this type of legislation. Gabby, I want to ask you, you know, do you feel like that's just dealing with the problem and not getting to the root of the problem? Because we're hearing reports now, and again, it's difficult to say if more women are having the courage to actually report sexual assault, but we're hearing, we're hearing reports that it's actually on the rise. So we don't know if it's because more women are actually reporting it or if it's actually gone up. But do you think more needs to be done to prevent acts of violence like sexual assault here on campus? They said it's actually doubled well, over the past five years. Right. Well, you need to take all these reports first off, first off with a grain of salt because a lot of these numbers, such as the popular one in five statistic, have been debunked by a number of different organizations and media outlets. So it's important for Americans to first realize that this notion that there's an epidemic of campus sexual assault isn't actually true. 
it's more or less something that the left has pushed to say that, that you know campus sexual assault is a crisis and the only way that we can solve it is by expanding the scope of government and that's not true if we want to solve this problem which it is a problem on college campuses not necessarily an epidemic but it is an issue we need to allow this administrators to be relieved of the burden of having to hold these rape trials on college campuses that isn't their responsibility and this is something that needs to be shifted back to law enforcement and to our judicial system but so you're so you uh, well we're actually running out of time so we'll pick up on that when we come back gabby thanks for sticking around we're going to talk more about some of the other stories that are making headlines with gabby morangiello when we come back you're watching newsmax now stick around